Hello and welcome to another ET tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Thor 4 to the latest firmware. What you're going to need is uh, a micro SD card. Uh, it's, it has to be a class 10 or higher, uh, between 4 and 64 gigabytes. I recommend re using reputable brands like uh, SanDisk, Samsung, or Transcend. Um, that way they'll, they'll work for a very long time. They're quite reputable brands. Um, to begin with, you're going to need uh, you need also a either a card reader or a micro SD card adapter so you can plug into your laptop. If you don't have that, you can always use a, this card reader. Um, first thing we want to do is we're going to format the SD card inside the scope. That way you have the correct file format on the SD card and you won't have any problems down the road uh, updating your scope. So um, let's begin. Just insert it here on the side open up this uh, rubber slot and you're going to want to put it in pins up into the scope. So just like that, slide it in and push it in until you hear a little click. SD cards in and that's it. And next we'll go over into the scope screen and see how to format the SD card. Okay, so we have the, uh, the micro SD card inserted in the scope and now we're going to go ahead and do a a format. So to do that, you're going to press the OK button. And then you're going to go to the wrench icon, system settings, and then press OK. And then we're going to hit the right arrow key to get to photo video. From there, you click down uh, to get to format SD card. So once you get there, click OK button again. It's going to ask you to format the SD card switch to yes and click OK. It'll ask you all content will be deleted. Do you want to continue? Click yes. OK, format successful. All right, so we now have the SD card formatted in the scope. We, so we, now we just need to turn off the scope and turn, take out the SD card. So just kind of push it in and it pops out. And we're going to take it out and put it into the card reader and hook it up to the PC. And I'll do a screen recording of uh, how I download it and and save it to the SD card, the, the firmware update. So just in a second. All right, so once you have the, your micro SD card uh, in your computer, uh, we're gonna go ahead and download the firmware from our website. So you're gonna open up a browser. I'm gonna open up Chrome. And uh, in the URL, type in atncorp.com and hit enter. Right. In order to download the firmware, you're going to need to uh, sign into your account. If you haven't created one, create one and sign in to download it. So next, uh, when you do that, uh, click on the firmware button here, and you're going to get to the ATN Update Center. From here in this drop-down menu, we're going to click, and since we're updating the Thor 4, choose this Thor 4. After that, you just click this Download button and wait for the firmware to download. You'll see it on the bottom left side. All right, once the firmware is downloaded, you're gonna scroll over here and right click and hit show in folder. And there you go, this is where the, your firmware was downloaded onto your computer. Uh, don't try to open the file or change the file name, otherwise it will not work and it will not update your scope. So from here, you're just gonna wanna right click and hit copy. And here on the left side, we're gonna look, you're gonna look for your micro SD card. Uh, here, mine is called SDHC, so I'm gonna click that. And you're going to see here uh, already an ATN folder. This is because we formatted the SD card in the scope and it created this ATN folder. This is where your audio and video is going to be stored. Or sorry, um, your uh, video and photos that are recorded from the scope. You're going to want to drop the firmware next to the folder and not inside the folder. Otherwise, it won't work either. So uh, next to it, we're going to right click and hit paste. And it's going to copy it onto the SD card. So now that it's copied onto the SD card, just to take it out and insert it in the scope and I'll show you what to do next. So all right, the firmware is uh, successfully copied onto the SD card. So now we just take out the SD card from the card reader and insert it into the scope. Remember again, teeth up. Uh, make sure your scope is turned off 
while you're doing this, okay? So slide it in, push it in until you hear the click. And then you just press the power button to turn on the scope. And I'll show you in a second what happens uh, when you turn it on. It'll prompt you with a firmware update uh, request. So now when you turn on your scope uh, with the firmware on the SD card, you will get a firmware update prompt message like this. No, not like that, sorry, like this. Um, it'll ask you to update the firmware. So what you wanna do is you're gonna click to yes and press the okay button. The firmware update takes uh, about 10, 15 seconds to complete to 100%. And once it's finished, your scope will uh, automatically restart. Okay, so when the firmware is uh, updated, uh, there's only a couple of things you still need to do after the update. Uh, the first one is you need to do a restore factory settings, but that will um, erase your X and Y, your zero, and uh, any ballistic profiles that you have. So um, to save them and not go through the whole zero process again, you can go you know, click enter, I'm sorry, the okay button, and go to your system settings, click okay. And we're going to go over to Profiles and Zero. And then we're going to click on Current and Zero Reticle. And then we're going to write down our X and Y. So X 52 and Y minus 48. That way we can just um, you know manually kind of uh, set it back to where it was. So click OK, Save and Exit. Next thing uh, we're going to want to do is um, export the profiles to your SD card. So we export to SD card, click on OK, and that's it, they're exported. So now we can go ahead and do the, um, the factory reset. Go to the settings tab. and go all the way down to restore factory settings. Click the OK button and then reset to factory settings. Click yes and reboot. Okay, so once the restore factory settings uh, has been restored, we're going to go back to profiles and zero tab and, uh, to import our profile. So click to profile zero and click down to get to import from SD card. Click the OK button and click OK to import them back. That's it, once that's done, just go back into your current uh, profile. Zero reticle, just to make sure that the X and Y is still in the same place. We wrote it down just in case, um, not to lose it. So it's still uh, where it should be. So we're just gonna exit from here as well. Click enter and click OK to save and exit. And that's it, profiles are back to normal. Now we're gonna go back to the uh, settings tab to input our device type. So I'll click down and then click the OK button to choose here. You have to choose the appropriate uh, lens type that you have. I here have the 2.5 by 25. So I'll choose that, click OK to accept. And that's it. That's the whole uh, firmware update process. And we did everything we should do after it. So that's it. Enjoy and uh, thanks for watching.